Alright guys, so this is an instructional video of what to do now that you have your lip sense for your first time users or second, third, fourth time users, doesn't matter. Um, when you get your kit in, you will have your tips and tricks card, um, informational stuff, um, and all that good stuff on there, my contact information, so hold on to it, read it. Um, I want you to know that this is not a lip stain or a lipstick, so how you apply is slightly different. Um, in some cases and very different in others, um, but it is very important to making sure lip sense works for you is to know how to put it on. So in your kit will come minimum three things. It depends on how many colors you bought. You'll have your one color, your glossy gloss, and your remover. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine on with you guys today. Please feel free to stop and rewind or whatever you need to do. Um, you want to make sure your lips are clean and dry, no barriers. So if you've just put on your foundation, you've lift, licked your lips, you just had a drink, whatever the case may be, go ahead and make sure you use a uh, wet cloth, wipe them down, clean them all off, and then dry them completely. Um, we're going to start with our color. We always shake because the color will settle and you want to mix up the ingredients. Um, shake up and down this way, not back and forth. That's important. You don't want to break the ball. Plus, you want to actually get the ingredients mixed up. It goes on for a smoother color. Today I am putting on Rose Ice. It's one of my favorite colors. So now that my lips are clean and dry, we're going to apply three layers. Um, they're going to be thin. It's like nail polish. So when you put it on, it's going to be a little bit lighter than what you expect. But don't worry, it'll get darker as you get to the color or as you get to more layers. Um, it is also very important that you know that there is a... Um, there's going to be a tingling when you first apply, and that's because there is medical grade alcohol inside this bottle. It just helps keep out bacteria, um, and also the drier your lips, the more it's going to tingle. But the good news is, is that Lip Sense will be rejuvenating your lips with long-term use. Um, it's going to help pull away from all the buildup of cells that have not been able to exfoliate, and then your gloss has got vitamin E and shea butter in it, so it's going to be putting back true moisturizer. Um, you can ask any long-time Lip Sense where their lips are in the best condition they've ever been. So if you're not wearing it, you don't feel like you have to put anything on because they're just moist. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Let's start with our first layer. You want to keep going in one direction. Do not go back and forth. It will take up the color and give you an uneven look. And you want to make sure each coat is fully dry before you go on to the next one because otherwise it will pull it up in blotchy areas and that won't be good. Um, I like to make sure that my wand is saturated. Um, the first layer doesn't really matter, but I'll get into that on the second layer. So let's get started. I'm going to start at the top and go here. And as long as I'm going in the same direction, you can go over it a couple times to get it all even and everywhere you want it. Don't press hard, just a gentle glide. Go to the bottom. Okay, it's pretty good for the first layer. Do not touch your lips together. They will be tacky. Uh, it's like paint. If you do that, they'll stick and then you'll end up with the blotchy spots. So this is hard to do an instructional video, but I'll get it done. Um, don't worry if you go out of the lines a little bit. It's not going to wipe off with your finger, but that's what the oops remover is for, is for the oops. Um, you want it to dry for a few seconds. In between coats, if I can't tell if it's dry, instead of just testing it with this again, I'll just tap my finger. It won't stick to your finger. You'll just see where it's wet or where it's dry. Ready to go for round two. Once again, make sure it's saturated, because if I go and swipe and it's pretty dry, it's kind of going to create friction and it's going to pull up the color. So make sure it's good and saturated. Make sure to get in the corners of your mouth, into the water lines. Pulling your lips tight it helps to get into all the cracks and crevices for an even look. Looking pretty good so far. Give it a chance to dry. You want to make sure to, is while using your lip sense, you do not want to use other products in between. Because what lip sense is doing is it's pulling away all the layers of buildup that you may have from the waxier products, from chapsticks, from lipsticks, and it is cleaning your cleaning your lips out. We call it an exfoliation. 
and then the gloss is putting back the moisture like I mentioned. And so if you're using other products, it's like cheating on your diet. It is uh, making it harder for lip scents to clean the waxy buildup off if you keep applying the waxy products. So make sure you just stick with lip scents. Um, it's really easy to do because you'll fall in love anyways. But I'm ready for my third coat, so here we go. Make sure to get into your water lines. And you'll be able to tell if you feel like your wand is dry and you need another dip. Alrighty, and so that's the three coats. So now we're to the color that we wanted to you see closer to the color. Um, now, once I let this good and dry, I'm gonna look into natural daylight, kind of make sure it's even. Everywhere that I want it to be, in the corners look good. With your darker colors, you wanna make sure you get into the water lines a little bit more, because then when you talk, that way it doesn't look funny. It's even and spread around, because once you mush your lips together after the gloss is on, the color's not gonna budge. It's just like painting. So make sure you put the paint everywhere you want it to be. And you can tell it's kind of tacky. Don't worry, it'll get better once the gloss is on. And it does make you drool a little bit while you hold your lips apart. And then just check my evenness. Everyone on TV. So good to go. Now, if I had gone out of the lines a little bit, then I would just take my oops remover. This is just lets me know it's not, it's mine. The one you guys have will just be all white. But you want to open it. The wand is white when you first use it, but it gets color on it once you start using it. So if I went out of the line, I'd just take it, rub it back and forth. It's not in a magic eraser. Um, it does kind of work like a uh, pencil eraser. So just go back and forth. Make sure not to get on your lip. Just get on the part that you want to um, freshen up and line up, and then it'll come right off, and that'll be it. Um, it is kind of a little bit oily based, so if you want to get a paper towel and wipe, that's fine. Just don't wipe into your lipstick so you don't push the remover onto the color. Now that your lips have your coat, it's even. It's where you want it to be. Feels dry. Just for the record, it's not on my finger when I do that. So I'm going to get my gloss, make sure your gloss wand is super, super saturated, and then go back and forth, whatever you want to do to get the gloss on. Dip again, because you don't want to use dry, not saturated. Dip again. Mm. Feels great. So now you are waterproof kiss proof, whatever else you need to be. Oh, and as you can see, it's not on the wand. So, awesome, mm, feels great. Um, kiss proof test, that thing. Not gonna smudge, it's not gonna be on my finger. I'm good to go, um, a paper towel. Not on there either, so. Um, like I said, please make sure that you are using your lip scents. You're going to have to apply your gloss throughout the day, um, especially when you're a first time user. It's quick. Mix around. Um, it helps lock in the color. Um, keep it locked in as uh, keeps putting the moisture in throughout the day. For about two to six weeks, you're probably going to have to use the gloss more often, but that's just because you're going to be going through that exfoliation phase where your lip sense is rejuvenating your lips from either dryness or use of other products. Um, but the longer you wear lip sense, the longer it's going to last on you. So uh, stick with it. Tell me how you love it. If you have any questions about the application process at all, I promise you no one gets it the first time. You'll figure out how it works for you, how to put it on, how you like it, all the good stuff. Um, you may even be good enough to get, put it on in the car. I always get comments about that. I got good enough that I can do it while driving. 
please be careful. I don't recommend that. Um, but either way, I really want you to love it as much as I do because it is a great product. So make sure you reach out to me. Any questions at all? We can even FaceTime if you want me to help you put it on. Anything you need to do. But love your lips. Love your lip sense. And let me know when you want more colors. Have a good day, y'all.